Yes, my people, how you guys doing, man? Daddy Tip here at the crib. Just taking it easy, man. Um, had a um, very peaceful day today. It's Saturday. Sometimes it's like you forget what day it is right now with all what's going on. But my people, I hope um, everybody's safe as can be in this um, time. And, you know, you're looking after your loved ones, which I know most of us are doing. You know, it's nice to be at home, you know. But obviously, I wish I was at the barber shop for one. I wish I was going to the gym. Um, yeah, just to have my little swim and my steam and, you know, just do the normal things what we do. But obviously, with what's going on, we can't do none of those things. I mean, you can go out for your little daily exercise and get your little shopping and then you kind of got to be back in um, the house. But anyway, um, just a quick update in my world, you know what I mean? All is well and giving thanks Obviously, I've had to cancel my event in Malta because obviously all of the flights, the airlines are grounded, so people can't get to fly out. So, you know, my hands are tied, so I had to kind of just cancel the event, which I'm very gutted about because it was looking good. You know, people were booking and, you know, um, we had a lovely boat and nice club. And yeah, it would have been really nice and some really nice people, genuine, lovely people had booked to come. So a bit disappointed that um, it's not going to happen, but there's not a lot I can do about it. My hands are tied. But anyway, we're going to crack on, you know, just praying that this, um, you know, lockdown gets lifted so we can kind of get back to some kind of semi-normal. But I'll need you lot to comment below and let me know how you're feeling about this pandemic. Is it a scam? I don't know. What do you think? You know, I need to know because we're going to have to wake up, people, because like I said in my last video, they're keeping us locked down. They're getting their grids already up there. The satellites, you see them at night. The 5Gs, them are getting put up. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say five, you know, because they'll probably, as soon as they hear that, all of the videos come off a line. Yeah, that's going up. So, yeah. And I'm a bit worried about the 5G because obviously the holy radiation around the place and a lot of people, you know, you get the odd person that will comment and say, oh, it's it's not harmful, but it is harmful. You know what I mean? It's not good. Yeah? So, a bit concerned about that like everybody else. But my people, they've never shut down the whole world before. And my manager lives in Palm Springs. My brethren lives in Bali. My next brethren lives in Barbados. i got another brother in Thailand. Yeah? And everywhere, lockdown. So, please... It's locked down for a reason, yeah? We know there's a virus, yes. But in certain parts of the world, believe it or not, the virus is not there, yeah? Most of the places where this virus is, they've rolled out the 5G, they set up the 5G. And as you can see around London, 5G is everywhere. So my people... You see how the police are behaving. I saw a video today. I had to laugh, man. Five police officers, one with dog, four with guns, knocked down the front door. And when the person came out, it was a little old woman. So they had this big police operation for a little old lady. So what am I going to do to we then? From when I behave like that to a seven, this woman has got to be 65, 70. And they were, you know, but it coming like it's just a, a performance. It's a show to show, you know, if you get out of hand, this is what we're going to do. Well, my people, all I can say to you guys is that it's going to get sticky. It's not a pretty road ahead. 
but we got to hang in there and we got to fight for what's right okay remember a lot of this is not law what they're doing yeah it's not law they're just saying stuff but it's not actual law so please do your research wake up and smell the coffee right it's not gonna be pretty ahead i'm warning you guys from now all right so listen daddy tip i'm here i'm trying to keep safe with my family and i'm praying for everybody you know but my dad used to say leave it to god no leave it to god leave it to me yeah so we have to leave it to we no leave it to god leave it to we yeah because without we them is nothing don't upgrade your phone to 5g don't upgrade keep your 3g keep your 4g don't upgrade yeah then it becomes you know don't upgrade just don't upgrade and if they want to make that compulsory then get a landline throw away the phone don't buy into it, man. Don't buy. That's why I'm not going online and doing no. DJs are fine. You guys can do that. But me now perform and do all of them things there. Yeah? Because I'm not conforming to every little thing they, you know, they put out there we have to jump and do. Well, me now do it. You understand me? I'm not upgrading to no 5G. I'm not interested. Yeah? And I'm not performing you know, getting, you know, I want to perform in front of people, yeah? Because I don't care what nobody wants to say. The man said it with his own mouth. 10,000 people die every month in England in care homes. How much people has died from the coronavirus? 20,000 people, which in itself is disgusting. They should be ashamed, to 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 you know to actually say that it's gone that many people has died yeah but believe you me the flu people die more of the flu yeah in general you know what i mean 20,000 people 10,000 people a month or yet die in care homes in britain really and the whole place has been on lockdown and this and that for, you know, for, yes, there's 20,000 people have, have gone, which is disgusting, which they shouldn't have let it get to. They should have locked down the country from before and it wouldn't have reached to this, you know. But if you look at the ratio of people that actually have it to the people that died, it it's not worrying warranted um shutting down the whole country making people lose their businesses and you know listen all you got to say to the people is look wash your hands if you feel like you you want to use your mask you use your mask clean down your place keep yourself you know hygiene you know keep your hygiene up yeah but you don't make people bank bankrupt people do all of these things because people are dropping out anyway. There's ten thousand people die every month in in the in England. So you know, it's a fraud, my people. This is a fraud. The virus is there, yes, but it still don't mean that you lot need to lock down everything, shut down everything, and keep people, you know. Because, you know, there's other countries that have not locked down. Sweden, Norway, places like that. And they haven't lost as much people as we have. What is going on here, people? Like I said in my last video, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, dialysis. The bread across the road there, pacemaker, packed up the other day. He's worried because him no one go to the hospital. You know, the hospital, the nurse, them I dance. I do, 
I do dance routine in the hospital them. Come on, man. If you lot are on the front line, supposed to be saving lives, yeah? When you get a break, you want to just chill, take a minute, have some food, have a drink, relax, yeah? But because you don't have so much time for you on, we know how to dance routine with taxpayers' money, with my money, yeah? Me get me letter where they, uh, the man want them want for me to do my tax return. Because they want me to pay my taxes. And I that me I pay my tax for for uno fi fi um fi do dance routine. And my brethren, brother, died the other day through him go up there. Fi um he had a blood clot, my people. Sorry, man, I have to slip into my patwa sometimes when I get angry. Yeah? He had a blood clot. Went up there, they sent him home. He went back because he was in a bad way. They gave him tablets, sent him home. Next thing, ambulance. Next thing, dead. My brethren, Peter Hunningill, yeah? He, we was talking the other day and he went through a very traumatic thing. He's got to do his little exercises from home. And, you know, because he's, you know, he's got a little condition with his blood. But at the time, a few years ago, he came out of his house and he fell down and he had to go to hospital and they had to revive him. And I just said, Peter, imagine if that happened now. Bruv, you wouldn't be here. Yeah? My people, wake the F up. They are doing this for a reason. Yeah? You think it's a joke. This is not a joke. Daddy tip, I'm out.